here at 545 is a pair of Panthers on the prowl. 2010 Silver Pigskin winner, Stefan McClure. And then, and what is really big news for us, the first megastar of the PPR, Pisa, Tino, is Samoa, is back <laughs> in the studio. Gentlemen, uh, uh, thank you for making the ride down on, a, I'm sure, a congested highway. Why are you here tonight? Uh, just to uh, advertise our camp that we have coming up April 2nd, uh, just giving back to the community, any local high schooler, free camp, so uh, come check it out. Uh, tell us about it. Tell, tell us about uh, how, how much you enjoy working with kids. So much, we're doing a camp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's more about helping kids grow up as men, as, as more as football players, right? I mean, there's a lot of life lessons involved. Are oh, there yeah, not? just uh, tons of life lessons, really just trying to give back to the community and uh, give these kids a role model. Uh, I looked up to Pisa when I was playing football, seeing him play football, going to college, motivated and encouraged me to play football, going to college, trying to follow his steps in the, uh, in the league as well. So really just trying to be a positive role model to all of North County and uh, give back to the community and help these kids out. You know, you probably could cure <laughs> cancer and... We'll still talk about the silver pigskin. I mean, that, that's what's important to us. Can you talk about, you, you're maybe the face of our show in the sense that you've done everything the right way. And can you talk about the responsibility of the, of having that crown on your head as far as the, the, the good role model? Oh, well, uh, thank you for that. Glad I could uh, represent the silver pigskin well and uh, really just try to do everything right. Try to, uh, try to work hard and uh, really just continue to each day to just strive for my goals and, and, and continue to just carry on that legacy of uh, just coming from North County, working hard. The same thing that got me the silver pigskin is the same stuff I'm trying to do now to achieve my goals I have now. Pisa, I've seen a lot of great football players in my 19 years in San Diego. I don't think I've seen a football player. I mean, maybe it was because I was always on the field and was watching you. But you were one of the best football players I've ever seen play. Thank you. Your story is as powerful as Stefan's in that you had some hard knocks early on. Things might have spun out of control, and yet you turned it around, turned it into an NFL career. I think that story is a story that kids have to hear. Do you like talking? Is it awkward for you to talk about? Um, well, I definitely probably wasn't the... Silver Prep Skin Player of the Year, yeah, yeah, my yeah, years, yeah, at yeah, least in high school. Yeah. From not only not the the football standpoint, but definitely off the field stuff. Because I was in the news as much for you know off the field stuff as I was for on the field stuff. So that's definitely not a good thing to have happen in high school. And yet, so you know, you Coach Jones, Coach McKnight, they yes. they kind of changed your life and got you to Hawaii, and then the rest is history. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's a kind of an example of one man can make a difference in a kid's life. Is that what you're trying to do with your camp? Absolutely. Uh, for me, it was Martin Bayless. Uh, I used to come up to San Diego and check out Martin Bayless's camp. He had a free camp. It was, and I knew there was going to be pros there. I knew that he was from San Diego, or he was doing it in San Diego. There was other guys from San Diego who were going to be host or uh, participating in this camp and helping out. So, you know, I went out there and I thought, you know, why not do this for Vista? Why am I doing this the same way it was done for you know us back in the day? So, it's our chance to do it, and I had the platform. So. You know, along with staff, we were like, let's bring this back to Vista. You know, we have a lot of pride with the Panthers. Eight-year NFL vet? Eight, yes. Nine, yeah. Yes. You're, gonna, you're with the Colts right now? Yes, sir. And yet, uh, what, what's in the water at Vista? There's been a lot of great athletes that have come down the pipe, and you, of which you guys are part of that legacy. What, what, what goes on there? Why, why are there so many great athletes coming out of Vista? Uh, they just uh, work hard, and uh, they, they go in there and do what they, uh, do what they can do, and uh, really just work hard, great coaching, and just it's a, it's a real team environment. Like, you put the team first, and there's no, no one's really like, oh, look at me, look at me. It's just uh, there's some great ones that, that came before me and that encouraged me and motivated me, and uh, that were from Pisa, Leon, Russell, Travis, you got all types of guys that, that have come out of Vista and gone on to do great things even outside of football. So really just watching them. And we're trying to do that same thing and just in North County. Great, you're a great athlete, one of the greatest athletes in the show's history, and yet you're, you're gonna, it's, it's the hard way into the NFL. You're, I mean, it's, you know, can you talk a little bit about maybe trying to emulate a Tony Jefferson and, and trying to, you know, he, catch, he just cashed in. Is that something you're trying to duplicate? Oh, yes, it is. And uh, I actually was uh, fortunate enough to work out with him last, uh, last offseason. So I see the work that he puts in and uh, really just trying to continue that because uh, there's, no, there's no secret to why he's getting, getting paid like he's getting paid. And that's because he puts the work in. He, he earns it on Sundays and uh, he, he really earns it in the offseason. So hats off to him. Congrats, Tony, on, uh, on getting paid and good luck in, uh, in Baltimore. I mean, when you see some of the guys that are cashing in right now, Pisa, do you wish you had played a little later in life? <laughs> <laughs> more money, more problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. You know, I had a good time. I had a good run. And it was just, you know, it's good to see that the young guys are getting paid. You know, they're, 
it was, I got paid more than the guys before me. So, you know, I know, I'm sure they didn't look at me and say, oh man, I wish I was getting his money. No, they were like, you know what? I'm glad that they're able to succeed and get, you know, a head start in life because that's all it is. It's really just a head start. It's not the end of your life. Big you chunk end. of your career was with the Rams. What, what, is now all your alumni get together is going to be in LA. It's a short trip. Right? <laughs> I get a lot of those emails. Uh, <laughs> what but, do you think about it? What was man? It? I feel like uh, Eric Dickerson. You know, uh, I went to a practice. You know, after I was done playing, after I retired, and uh, actually a training camp. I was, you know, I went to training camp. They invited me out, and it was cool. But then, you know, they told me, hey, you can come whenever you want. You want to come check out a practice? Okay. I come to a practice against, you know, the Chargers, I mean, against the, uh, the Bears, and I get kicked out of the practice. Uh, so, you know, it just depends. I mean, I, I got fired from there. Okay. You know, yeah, so, yeah, I understand. Uh, I, so it, I mean, it's a political world, right? <coughs> business. Uh, business. Let's talk a little bit about, St Stefan, as far as working with the kids again. What, what, what is the, your message to youngsters? <clears throat> really, uh, my message would be to just set goals and, uh, and strive, strive high, strive beyond uh, any of your like wildest dreams and just really just set those goals and, and really just every day when you're making a decision, make a decision that, that is gonna help your, your, your goal. Like are you gonna, when you're making the decision to either do your homework, go to class or, or go to practice, if your goal is to go to college, then you gotta make a decision to do your homework, study. And I would really just say, uh, like the three things that they could focus on that uh, no matter what's going on, the three things that you can control is, uh, is your attitude, your effort, and how you treat other people. So I'd really just say focus on those three things and, and have your end goal. And no matter what your circumstances are, there's, like, there's proof right here from the same community that, that we're hosting this camp in that, that you can make it out from whatever your circumstances is, whatever, whatever's happened. It's never too late to, to get on track and, and make it happen. No matter what your, your parents have done, what your siblings have done, cousins have done, be the first one in your, in your family to go to college, anything. So just set your goals high, and, and there's people here that are willing to help you uh, achieve those goals. You're, I mean, you're working with Tri-City Christian, aren't you? Yes. Well, what's that like? The kids must listen, right? A lot different. <laughs> no, no, the kids are very receptive to, to my information and my coaching. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's awesome. All right, Thank well, you. let's, uh, let's, we're running out of time here. Go ahead. Last chance to get recruit kids. Do it. All right. Camp is April 2nd at Vista High School. Free camp. Uh, bring your cleats. Uh, for, get a free t-shirt. We're going to provide snacks for you. And uh, right. just come out willing to uh, compete listen learn and there's going to be it's going to be a great atmosphere we got some great coaches lined up to uh to help out Pisa's is one of them myself's one of them so it's going to be a fun time april 2nd registration open to, to any high schoolers doesn't matter where you're coming from we got got a good solid group signed up so far so looking forward to it all right once your nfl career is done you're coming to the gala you're, as, a, <laughs> as a guest and pisa you're coming this year one you're in I'm right in. i'm in all right gentlemen thank you very much one program you know uh, nico saragusa is going to come in in the six o'clock hour so our football conversation will continue at 6 45. two two of my kids <laughs>